Um, first of all, welcome. You have heard it from other people. Please uh, take a seat. When you move in late, late, please be quiet, okay? Some, some students are starting to uh, pay attention. On the agenda today, for the next hour, we will be talking about the staff support system around your studies, because of course you will be studying an academic degree for three years, but around that we have a whole support system to help guide you through the program in other areas than the academic. You just heard from Raquel, everything they can help you with, with their academic studies, right? Yeah. But around that, we really firmly believe that the support system in many other ways, social ways, human ways, are also important for you guys. And we want to guide you to how to be a successful student <laughs> in Denmark. One place to start is to be on time. Very important in this country, and in general in the West, in Europe, United States, Australia, Canada, punctuality is very important. Then we'll talk about some important policies, practical information, and fun and cultural events. Let's go. We want to talk about student well-being. Students, hello, this is about your well-being. Well-being is about how you have live a good life. My name is Lisbeth, this is my picture here, this is my email and my phone number, and I love international students. Okay? <laughs> I have been in this job for nine years, and I love it, but I also sometimes have to be very strict with you guys, because you just left your mother and father, and sometimes it's hard to find out the right thing to do. Then you come and talk to me, or my very beloved colleague, Charlotte If. Charlotte, introduce. Hello. Hello. My name is Charlotte Werner, and I am. Uh, yeah, I have the privilege to uh, share this uh, task together with Lisbeth. I am a student counselor, and I have been student counselor and uh, lecturer for 20 years. So I love working with young people, and I love also working with you guys. Student Support Unit. This is what we call us, us two, Charlotte. This is Charlotte B. We also have Charlotte F. You remember her? You met her in the morning. Charlotte F. She's our president. Charlotte F. Very important. But for me, this Charlotte B is much more important. And also for you. Okay? Charlotte B. Then we have a Charlotte uh, R. She's also, uh, she's a teacher. You'll meet her later. Anyway, this is what we deal with in Student Support Unit, also together with Raquel and Eva and Sophie you met previously. All of us, we are surrounding you to help guide you through the program. We deal with absence, study skills, time management, social events and parties. Anybody's interested in parties? Yeah. All right, very good. Employability, what does that mean? It is how to prepare you for the job market. Because you're all getting a degree now, this is very excellent, the first step to get a nice career. But how do you enter the job market? Especially if you want to enter it in Denmark. I'm, I'm sure it's a little bit different from your home country. So we know something about our culture, our home market here, and we will give you all the information we have if you want to learn from that. Okay? Um, guest speakers, company business. Take a seat, guys. Uh, graduate school. Some of you are already thinking after your degree you will do a master's. How many? Some of you? Some of many of you. Okay. Okay, this is very good. These are the ambitious students. You know, just for your information, shh, master's programs are great here in Denmark, all over Europe, all over the world. You will graduate with a BSc degree from De Montfort University, right? Not from Nusbrook. We are not a certified university. You will graduate with a degree from De Montfort University. It is internationally recognized. You can take it anywhere in the world, but I just want to tell you, you need good grades if you want to do a master's program. It is very competitive. Many students want to do a master's and there's only so many seats. But we'll talk to you about that in your second and third year, how to make a strategy for you to become successful. The first year, we just want to get you through life, just to survive the first year. Housing, getting to school on time, many of these things, loneliness, homesickness, 
when there's worries about your mother at home, you talk to her on the phone, she sounds unhappy, then you become unhappy. All these things we'll talk about because you have made a big step away from your family and away from your culture, and you're in a very new culture, but we want you to be successful here, okay? So this is some of the stuff that we talk about. Student clubs, Charlotte, that's you, social media. Yeah. All of you probably noticed in downstairs and on the, how there are some posters hanging on the wall about join us at our Instagram account. We have a social media club at Nesbok and we uh, would really love to see a lot of new subscribers today. Uh, this is the, one of the platforms we are operating on, so please remember to join us very quickly. Yeah. Let's talk. Look at this. Look at this slide. The reason I want to tell you this on the very first day you're with us, and you will hear it continuously the first year, the second year, is that we want you to know that we're here to to support you. If you don't come to us, we don't know what's going on in your life. It could end up as a problem. I have been given permission by two students, former students one from Nepal, one from Bangladesh, they told me I can tell this story. I will not tell you the name, but I will tell you that both students were dismissed within six months from having started the program. Why? Because they didn't come to class often enough, and they didn't check their schedule, and worse, they didn't check their emails. Because we write to students when there's beginning to, to be a pattern of absence. Then we invite you in. What's going on? Can I help you? What is your name? Shishit Karki. Karki, I know that name. Um, we have many Karkis. Uh, uh, I write an email to Shishit Karki. No response. I invite him for a meeting. He doesn't show up. I invite him for another meeting. Doesn't show up. Now I send his name to the dean. And the dean will say, this is not an active student. Goodbye. And that's what happened to these two students I'm telling you about. They didn't even know they were dismissed because they never read their email. <laughs> so maybe three weeks later, or one month later, they feel like going back to class. They show up in class. The name is not on the attendance of the class anymore. Then they come running to us. Ma'am, I'm not on the list. So I said, because you're not in the program anymore. And then we start guiding students how to leave Denmark. Close the bank account, close your housing, get the deposit back. Ma'am, I cannot go home. My parents will be very unhappy. I said, yes, I'm sure they are very disappointed. Are you not disappointed? Then they start crying. That's why I say, let's talk. Do yourself a favor, come to us and talk to us before. If we have a lot of notes on you, about unhappiness or whatever it is, the reason you cannot be in class, we have notes about you. It's not so easy to dismiss you because there's a history. But if we don't hear anything for two, three months and you don't show up, we just think this is a troublemaker who's not here to study, goodbye. So take this here very seriously. We invite you, right, Shalad? We invite yes. them to come and talk to us. I read your email, okay? The first thing you should do is actually Register your Nelspot email into your Outlook so you don't miss important emails from us. Do check your emails every day, really. I know and many of you come from beautiful cultures if there's a grandmother, grandfather who passes away. And this is very likely when you're here for three years. Things will happen back home. Don't just take off for three weeks without talking.